wrestler, and Team Vision Dojo trainer, Aaron Epic. Yes. Here at the Big Ronin Show in yep. South Florida, yep, Broward yep. Calix South Gym. Women's wrestling. Yes. So, Aaron, what's your take of what we're seeing today with this revolution in popularity of women's wrestling? I don't like the term revolution. The reason why is just because, like, there's been women in wrestling the entire time. Um, as far back as, obviously, what they named the big tournament after Mae Young. Uh, you had Mula, you had um, Sherry Martell, Luna. The only problem was is that I feel that in those times, the people that were on top were on top for so long that you kind of don't remember the other people who were there. And especially like here stateside, like in Japan, women's wrestling is held at the same standard as men's wrestling. And that's um, been the way for a while? And that's been the way for a while, yes. Uh, uh, they have their Joshis, which is their females. Um, you, like people know big ones like you know Aja Kong and uh, Bull Nakana, um, who were ahead of their time just because of the training that they had. Uh, I feel like, and this knocks nothing against any woman who who previously wrestled. A lot of the times they were considered eye candy, or um, they were selected to be wrestlers because of swimsuit magazines or stuff like that. Um, the only thing that I feel now that has changed is, is that we as a wrestling and a whole turned around and took away the double standard of wrestling's for guys, girls go do this. Um, they, you know, and especially now on how much of a great level there are for female wrestlers that uh, when you turn around and look at some of the best matches in the past two, three years, um, yes, it's been at NXT levels uh, where more eyes are on people. All they did was turn around and show the same drive, devotion, and wrestling ability that us as men or gentlemen or however you want to, sports entertainers, however you want to consider us, um, be uh, to a new light. Um, it's hard to be the first in something. Um, so to turn around and teach the average wrestling fan that these are athletes and these are wrestlers, when you are turned around and taught for so long that this is what it actually is, uh, that, that, that's, that's the hard part. It takes time. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so that's like, when it comes to the thought behind it, that's how I feel, is that it's re-education. Um, it's not a revolution, it's not, it's re-education. If you turn around and teach someone five years, 10 years, 20 years, your parents, your parents' parents, that this is women's wrestling, that's what they're gonna take it for. So when you turn around and change absolutely everything that you already know about something, it makes it hard. Perfect example, um, Medusa as Alondra Blaze and Bull Akana when they were doing their WWE stuff, the, they had amazing matches but the crowd did not know how to react to them because they're doing moves and they're having wrestling matches. Um, but if you go back and watch them, they're phenomenal. But, They'd hold up today. Oh, yeah. Uh, but because of everything that we turn around and we're dictating at the time, people didn't know what to do. So uh, that's how I feel when it comes to all that stuff.